Bob, get in here. Get in here and sit down. I don't care if you're busy. Get in here and sit down. Now. 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 I don't care if you're busy. Stay. I need you to stay with me here. And just hang out, okay? You know that couple that I saw last week, you know, when we went to the club? Remember? We went to Second Circle. And you were supposed to hook up with Lilith, but didn't. But I went up with that, that couple and... We had a good time. Well, they thought it was a good idea to hook me up with one of their friends. And... <laughs> oh, man. They've been stalking me ever since. That it's, it's been crazy. I, I, I'm literally scared. <sighs> wow. No, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I didn't get myself... I was being a nice guy... And being nice apparently invites people at four o'clock in the morning to go through your garbage. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Listen, I wish you would stop laughing and start taking this seriously. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. That's him. He's coming this way. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Don't you leave, you fucking coward. Oh my god, you coward piece of shit. I'm not afraid to kill you and your family and take your speed, you honey. Hey! How's it going? <laughs> oh yeah, that was... That was my friend Bob. Um, yeah, he was just hanging out for a minute. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Um, been a while since I caught you... Uh, Going through my trash and chewing on my coffee filters at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> God, help! Then he just sort of like scampered off like an animal. Oh, I'm sorry. I startled you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This that's somehow my fault. Oh no 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 no! That totally wasn't creepy at all. That wasn't creepy in the slightest bit. Like, it just wasn't creepy that you uh, went through every single one of my Facebook posts and liked everything for the past five years, including all the pictures. Stuff that I had forgotten about entirely. Yeah, that not at all creepy or worthy of a restraining order. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. Not really. But, uh, yeah, I'm kidding. <sighs> Listen, I've got uh, got to log back in. Got to go back to work. Yeah, that means I, 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 I need you to go. No, I'm not going to Second Circle after work. No, I don't need company when, when, when I get home. And, and, and honestly, uh, I, I kind of don't want to see you at my house. <laughs> Listen, you know, I, I just clicked a button on Facebook. We didn't like, you know, exchange kidneys or, 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 or sign a blood pact. I mean, like, we are in hell, but you might want to... Go talk to your friends. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, well, I'll just whatever you feels right to just get out of here for a while. Okay, maybe. Bye. Oh, wow. Crazy people. Log in here. Next. Ooh, there's a lot of you here. <laughs> oh, that, a lot of you here. Well, hello, my name is Mark, and uh, welcome to hell. <laughs> Your number one choice in eternal damnation. <laughs> I'll be your demon caseworker, and um, uh, looks like we've got another bulk damnation. Go How many of them are you? My goodness. Are, are you guys out the door? Really? Wow. That's a big one. Well, it's okay. I can, I, can, I can handle this. I mean, just a little bit of explanation. Being that hell is overflowing 
with so many sinners these days, uh, the management has seen fit to outsource some of the more common sins to lesser demons like me. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable, and I will get you judged and on your way to eternal torment. <laughs> so let's find out what you guys are in here for, shall we? I was hoping I'd get you guys. Oh, this is great. <laughs> You're what they call homophobes up there. <laughs> oh, this is just wonderful. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for this day. Oh, yeah. Seeing a lot of shocked faces. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you thought you were going up there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You see, they use the word homophobia, but it's really just straight hatred. You don't fear anything. You're just you're finding every excuse to hate. <laughs> you can't have hate. Uh, you know, let me explain a little bit because I'm seeing confusion amongst you. And I'm, I'm sure you, you're wanting to see some sort of manager. Some of you, it was just straight bigoted hate. You know, and that's one thing, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll fit in right as, you know, right as rain <laughs> with the bullies and whatnot. But some of you, it was bigoted hate and you used your religion to justify it. <laughs> Something that was supposed to be a spiritual journey for you, you used to justify hatred, beatings, torturings, killings, even on the name of whatever book you decided to follow. <laughs> no, 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 you, you, it is not your place to do that sort of stuff, right? No. Oh, and they're not down here with you. Those people that were tortured and killed, you know, in, in, in that name. No, they're, they're, they're up there. They're not down here with you. <sighs> You, you still don't get it, do you? So, so in your eyes, it's totally okay to just beat the shit out of somebody and uh, torture them and then, you know, leave them tied to a pole to be discovered later after they, you know, and they'll die from their wounds later. That happened, you know. A group of kids just decided that that was perfectly fine to torture and, you know, tie somebody up. Still not getting it? <laughs> That's funny. Well, what about, you know, the times that, you know, people will go into uh, clubs and bars and whatnot and just start opening fire just because somebody was different from them? Well, that's not happened just once. That's happened twice. Or, you know, somebody just didn't like, uh, um, uh, uh, like a bar being nearby, so they would, you know, throw a firebomb into it and kill, like, 32 people all the clip. Oh, these were all adults. They've, 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 they've made their choice in life, right? You know, that's justified for them because they were adults and they, they, they chose that lifestyle. So it was totally justified for you to go and, and hurt them. Is that, is that what you're saying to me? Hmm. Well, how about when an eight-year-old is tortured by their own family, beaten, starved, tied up, just for the very thought that they might be gay. Not that they even were. Who knows if he even was or not. He was eight years old. Did he have a choice? Was he was he choosing that lifestyle, that little child? It's the same hatred. It's the same hatred that you're feeling. Not not young enough for you? Okay. How about a three year old? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Three-year-old, just because the dad thought he might be too soft and turn out gay, was beaten to death. He was a child of three. It was the exact same hatred that you're feeling. And you felt, rather, <laughs> when you were alive. <laughs> Even now, you don't get it. You... you 
you, you try to justify that sort of hatred and wrath against the innocent. And yes, they are innocent. They didn't choose to be that way. They were born that way. And just like with the bullies and whatnot that, uh, that we have down here, um, you enacted violence and hatred against people who didn't do anything to you. It was just because they were different from you. You decided to uh, destroy their lives. What kind of people do that, especially to children who may or may not have even been that way? Just the very thought that they might have been that way, they might have been gay, was enough for violence to happen against them. And all you people who say, oh, I didn't do anything. Well, your beliefs enable that mentality. And your silence pretty much gives it the green light. This is the reason why I drink so much. Having to deal with you humans. Whew. Now, I know what you're thinking. That uh, your punishment is going to be some sort of buggery or whatnot for all of eternity. But, but honestly, I think some of you bigots would probably enjoy that a little bit too much. So, no. We're going to go old school with you guys for sure. Let's get some Dante in here. Into the pit of fire you shall go, cast down for all eternity, and the demons of the people uh, will appear. Demons will appear as people that you have tortured in your own life, men, women, and children, uh, to tear you apart. Not only will you burn, but you'll be ripped apart every single day for all of eternity. All right. I'm done with you. You're disgusting. Off you go. Get him out of here. Get everybody up. Get him the fuck out of here. Pieces of shit. Trash. Garbage. I need another drink. Awful. Children. All right. Well. Can I take off work early? Slave drivers. Next. Sit down. Now what are you in for? <laughs>